Hey, I'm Just Vosco and this is Just Gear City. Now, last time we left off, we made some endurance engine parts. That's the idea. Anyway, the JRN series. Um, we've got a full-size sedan in nine months and a sports car in 14 months. We have had a memo, which is really good. GM Award, GCM Awards. Congratulations, we've won the following awards. Best supercar. In the entire world is the JR Bull, Bull by name, Bull by nature, and the vehicle of the year of the entire world is the JR Bull, Bull by name, Bull by nature. Uh, we should see a boost in image, morale, and sales, which is always good. We like that. Also, our Shanghai factory is now finished, so we should probably look at expanding over to this market over here, getting some branches out and things like that. Um, what's the population in Shanghai? A lot. So we will definitely get a branch there. Again, I'm just going to go full out on branches like that. A build branch. Um, you're an amazing amount. So we're going to we're going to change that branch to JR Swift because we do need to get some of those across here. Um, your population's not great. You're amazing. Let's get one there. Um, what else? We could get another branch there. We'll make that one a JR Swift. I want it sort of separated, so we've got an even amount over here. Uh, that is an amazing amount. Let's do that. We can get one there. We will make that branch a Swift branch. Um, I'm going to build a branch there. I'm, I'm considering my options. Um, we could probably break into India as well, so let's do that. Thailand, uh, do you know what? I'm going to build that and I'm going to make that branch a JR Swift. Uh, there we go. And finally, one more just there. So that sort of opens the market. Oh, I've zoomed in too far. I've zoomed in past the map. That is something I can do, apparently. Um, where else can we open some branches? Let's go back over. So you should be able to ship, right? Shipping distance should be fine. I'm hoping the Shanghai one stops us getting missed sales. So if I go to the office, we're going to go forward one month just to see what happens. Oh, I didn't put cars for sale in the new branches. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It's my fault. <laughs> We have had no missed sales. We made, <laughs> oh my God, 84 million pounds. 84 million. I'll take that. Um, look at the sales. We're doing brilliantly. Uh, our biggest selling is probably the Elvis Mio. No, the Tweed. Okay, so the sedan is the because the Tweed's a sedan, right? And the Elvis Mio's a sedan, if I'm correct. It is. So the sedan. Oh no, wait. Our Saka. That's another sedan. So the sedans are doing the best out there. Our supercars are sitting around 11 and 12. We didn't actually put any cars for sale in those branches, so we should probably do that. We're gonna go. Let's have a look. Total unit cost 69. pounds. And we're selling it for 31. Huh. What? The... Oh, wait a minute. Total unit cost varies from place to place. Huh. Okay. Unit cost 70,000. It still costed more than what... So that one's costing us 21,000 unit price. We can apply that. I presume we're going to be okay with these. Lux, probably not. Total unit cost for the Lux is 26. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so we'll get all of these set up onto here like that. Um, there we go. Lovely. Beautiful. As long as we're making a profit, I don't see the issue. The issue with the... the Super sports. There is no demand for them at the moment. Uh, let's get the gallo out there as well. Why not? Um, the Lamba is costing us. <laughs> yeah, we've, we're, we're, we're so. Um, wait, why am I not showing up down the bottom? Because I'm not in that market. I'm going to apply at the price they are. We are losing out on them. 
We are the... We're quite expensive. <laughs> quite expensive. The only other one on the market... Okay, if you look at our, our type rating, we've got 90, and our rating there is 68 and 65, which smashes over the... What's that? NOAB2757. That's a mouthful. Um, but the price is already a lot more. So we may have to sell them at a loss for now just to make up a, na a name for ourselves in that market. There isn't any demand for them, in all fairness. Um, I'm just making them because I want to. So let's go forward one month and see if that's made any difference to sales. I'm hoping it does. I'm hoping to see an improvement. We're on 3.8 billion. 3.9 billion. We made 101 million pound. Um, reserves. We got some reserves. I didn't miss any sales. Uh, the sack is almost on 3,000 units for that month, which is, is amazing. We'll take that. Um, we have seen a jump in the bull and the lamba, which is 14 and 16, which is very nice. Uh, how are we doing up here? We've got five months on our engines. Four size sedan and sports is on their way. I'm, well, I, I've sort of been having a chat with that guy, 33. He's almost like my, my sports advice, my, my racing advisor. Um, because as a manager of this car company, uh, the owner of this car company, I should say, I don't actually know a lot about the racing side of it. I don't know a lot about the normal side, but I, I know even less about the racing side of it. And he's been giving me some tips. So we made an endurance engine last time under his um, advisement. And this time I'm going to make a another engine. We are going to make a W engine, a W layout, which I never even considered a W layout because it doesn't look very good. Um, and I did argue with him at the time and he went, if I tell you the Baghetti Veyron uses a W layout, uh, would that change your mind? And I was like, ah, yes, yes, it would. So we're going a W layout. We are going to go, let's have a look. We're going to go 12 cylinders. There we go. Uh, fuel diesel lovely um, DOHC is the only one we can really go for they are the best the double overhead cam camshaft I can speak um, on here we are going to go for twin turbo hopefully we're going to get a good engine out of this so let's go layout performance technology and design focus even if we don't get a good engine it does our teams good to keep designing these things I'm sure that's you're supposed to regularly design engines and things like that i probably let it slip a little bit too much but but we're getting there um so he's advised what i need to look for is around 600 horsepower and 700 torque which which is a a, a lot um we definitely need to oh my god engine length and width is really small uh let's get the ball and the stroke up okay so width is is shot up quite a lot so let's reduce you a minute and put you up torque is is incredible what is going on with torque um we need to put the weight down as much as possible we want it to be as small as possible the issue is we need it to be uh, we could reduce the weight the, the width and the length that will help um let's get revolutions make the power right um, talk. I don't think we need any more talk in all fairness. Over here, we're going to go material quality, component quality, technology, and manufacturing techniques. All the best they can be, I think. Yeah, why not? That'll help. So we're up to 543 horsepower. So we're getting there. We're going to focus on performance. I'm going to say is a good thing here. Um... The rest can stay as they are. Development pace, what are we at? We're at 16 months, that will be fine. Um, talk is is, is huge. Um, really, like, massively. Um, engine talk, we could probably reduce that, but that's going to reduce the power. So if I want to get to about 600, that's 601. The torque is phenomenal. Look at that. We could probably... Mm, what what are we looking at? We're looking at 48 and 46. So we might not actually need to put the resolutions and all that 
up so much we could, because the engine's still fairly small in all fairness. It's the width that's the issue. The width goes up a lot more than the... So if we do... I don't know. We're, we're, we're trying to get a balance here between the two. I don't know if that's right, but that's what I'm going for. 34 and 48. Okay. Uh, we're at 582. Can we push out... Oh, wait. So I could probably drop the torque a bit. If we want 600. There we go. 600 horsepower. Um, we've reduced the torque to a, a, a still a phenomenal 1298 that seems a lot of torque i don't know if having too much torque is bad but that is a lot of torque um that's a high, that's the only way we can get horsepower of 601 because if i drop this by even one it's probably going to go to yeah 586 look Six oh one is what we've got. I'm going to go with it. Uh, overall power is good. Smoothness is good. Fuels, fuels terrible. Reliability is okay. Um, let's go with it. Let's see what it turns out like. So we're going to build this, um, and this is for GT racing, if I'm correct. So let's call it the um, JR GT uh, JRT GT. Let's do six hundred for. Horsepower, why not? The JR... Oh my god, I can't type today. There we go. The JR GT600. That is our new um, group. I'm going to put it under JR Motors this time. Um, you've selected an unpopular fuel type. Diesel? No, it's fine. Carry on. Don't ask me this again. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Um, now we need to do a chassis. Uh, we are going to go for... Which is better? That's good for performance, safety, durability, weight's really good on that. Maybe we go with that one. Sports and super compact, um, subcom. Do you know what? Weak frame decreases chassis strength. Design will increase handling, comfort, and performance. The design is not a good choice for vehicle safety. Well, this is a sports car, so we're probably not worried about that. Um, we want a mid mid front engine can we have a mid wait is that a mid mid engine all wheel drive that is what we're going for we are going to go for the double wishbones because I don't think I've got anything else and they are the best that we can choose there we go and we're going to go frame dimension suspension design focus and component quality now I know these cars are going to cost me a lot of money these cars aren't really designed for selling they're designed for racing Okay, so we need to select our engine, which is the GT600. There we go, select engine. We've got some issues here, which we can look at. So if we go maximum supported width, that'll help a little bit. Maximum supported length, we can do that. There we go, that fits. I'm so we need to improve the width. This is going to be quite a wide car then. There we go. So it fits. The engine fits, at least. That's the main thing. So we want to reduce the frame weight. Um, what's the weight at? Uh, where's weight? Weight, weight, weight. 548. So if I reduce the height, that reduces the weight a little bit. I want material quality the best it can be. Technology the best it can be. All the time, this is putting our weight down to 504. So we can get rid of that. Um... Performance, I presume, is the best thing we want. Yeah, we'll go with that. Everything else, I'm guessing, is fine. Wide comfort, stability, braking, durability. Durability, I suppose, would be good. Would it? What's that? Is that? Does that make anything worse? It doesn't, so we'll do that. We'll spend a bit of money on that. Uh, that one's done. And what have we got here? Development pace, 16. We... We can knock that up to 16 months, because the other one's 16, right? Yes, it is. Um, design, dependability, strength, ride control. Control and performance, I'm going to say, are probably important. Yeah, we're going to go with that. That is what we're going to go with. We've made it. 
performance is this amazing 92 on performance so let's build it i may be doing this completely wrong but we're going with it it's different to what i've done before so and my previous attempts have been terrible so what's the worst that can happen we're going to call it the jr no we're not jr uh gt 600 wasn't it that's right yes built <laughs> Excellent. Now we just need a gearbox for that design. So let's go to gearboxes. We're going to go for semi-automatic. No, manual. See, manual's good for sports, apparently. Oh, that's good for sports as well, the semi-automatic. What else have we got? We've got an automatic there. D that's good, isn't it? The DCT. Dual clutch transmission has two sets of clutches. I think that's what we used last time for the last... Do we need to make a new gearbox? Could we use the gear... No, no, I'm going to do it because we need a gearbox that can take the torque that this engine's pouring out. Um, Speed-wise, we should probably go with... What did we have on the last one? Five gears... Six speed, wasn't it? I think we're going to go for a six speed again. We're going to choose all of these like so and press OK. Uh, specifications, technology, and design focus. We're getting into sort of a routine. We've got every episode so far in the last couple, we've designed a new set of uh, engine parts and a new vehicle. And I think I'm going to do another new vehicle in this episode, hopefully. OK, so let's select the engine. It's going to go, no, no, I don't want this engine. Not using it. Where is the GT? What? Where are you? GT600 in the middle there for some reason. Okay, this design cannot handle the torque. Try increasing the torque. I, I, that's a good idea. Why didn't I think that? Maximum import of uh, input of torque there. I'm going to put um, torque on there. Are we getting any better? So if we torque out completely, it still can't handle the torque this car's putting out. Uh, material quality, all of that can go up. I want this to be a great gearbox. At the minute, it's getting 999 torque. Now, I know my aim was 700 torque, but the torque... I, I couldn't do anything about the torque. To get the 600 horsepower, it was just... The torque was ridiculous. Um, we're going to performance shift in ease. Um, fuel economy is not important. Gearbox dependability, I suppose, should be important, but... Can we get any more on dependability, reliability? Oh, wait. Helps if I grab it. We can. Do you know what? Let's spend out big style on it. Um, development, 18 months. No, that's not good enough. I want it done quicker. I want it done in 16 months. This is going to be a really expensive gearbox. But you know what? Let's go for it. So we're going to build it. We're going to call it the JR GT 600, like so. And it was the JR Motors, wasn't it? I'm sure, yeah, we're building it. There we go, Bosch. So that is two big old engine sets we've got going on there. Oh, wait, I didn't... 19 months for the chassis. Oh, that's really annoying. I forgot to check the chassis. Hmm. That's stupid, but that's fine. We can deal with that. Uh, okay, let's have a look at our Odis vehicle. I think it's the Omic now, because we've got the Gallo in uh, being designed. We've got the Tony being designed. So now we've got the Omic, which is selling reasonably well. I normally do a new generation, but what if I do a new... I don't know. Let's go to R&D department. We're going to go modify uh, vehicle. We want the Omic. There we go. There's the Omic. What if we just do a new trim? Uh, new trim systems allow you to create multiple variants of the selected model. This system is useful to create models with multiple engines and gearbox configurations. Okay, let's do that. Let's do a new one because that one's selling. I don't necessarily want to... So we're going to go new trim. We're going to call this the Omic, the Omic, uh, I don't know, the Omic S for super. Uh, we're going to change these out. Let's get in. What are you using at the minute, actually? Go back. You're using 
the R4. Oh, the JR894. Oh, God, that's an old one. Uh, we're going to change you out for... What are we going to change you out for? Your sports car, right? So strength would be more important. So we're going to change you out for that one. We're going to give you... Wait, was that the... Uh, what did I give it? I gave it the flat Dobie. That's fine. Um, you're going to have the flat Dobie chassis. And you're going to have a flat Dobie gearbox. You're the S. We're going to go design it. Look at that ugly coloured car. Did I actually go for that colour? <laughs> okay, so let's change a few of the designs. We're going to go... We can't really change the body because this is just another trim with a different engine. So we're going to go... Design body, pre-designed, modify existing, and we're just going to paint it so it's a different colour. Um, I'm tempted to go pink. Just because the other colour was so ridiculous, why not go for a ridiculous... No, that might be a bit mad. Um, what about... No, what about a darker green? Ooh, ooh, I like that. See, that looks nice. We can do that. Can we have some metal? Can I change these hubs? Yes, I can. There we go. Thank you. Still looks like a very classy car, in all fairness. Um, I can't, can't, can't remember. Did I design this one? I don't think I did. Um, so let's change the light around and we can get a picture of that for our thumbnail advertisement. Uh, F12. There we go. We've got two of those did we then i don't know so we're gonna go finish don't save um materials interior design focus and testing now the omic's been a very popular car all along so i'm hoping this new version i'm guessing it's not going to be as popular but it's going to be more powerful so i'm hoping that will help so let's have a look what we got in the stats luxury is miles over what it needs to be Sorry, just having a sip of my tea there. Yorkshire, of course. Um, safety, miles over what it needs to be. Dependability, over. Quality, miles over. Fuel, miles over. Performance, over. Power, just under. We can't do a lot about that. Um, handling, over. And cargo, over. So this thing is sort of done. We can just build it. It's got a name for itself. Um, it's the Com Omic S. It's going to be a Swift Motors, and we're going to build it. Let's do it. That was really good. Let's skip forward three months and see how our sales do. As long as we're still selling vehicles, I may open some more branches. The more branches we have, the more vehicles we shift. I'm guessing that's how it works. So we've got 3.9 billion. Is that going to go up to four? I know we've spent some money. That went up to 3.96. It's slowly going up. Can we get it up to 4 before the 3 months are up? Uh, that went up to, yep, 4, four billion pounds. Wow, we're making 72 million pounds. We are spending a lot on R&D costs. If you look at our R&D costs, it's 50 million pounds, which is horrendous. Our new chassis and engine set the end set is actually almost done we may be able to squeeze out that vehicle in this episode or at least design the vehicle um sales are still amazing like we're over three thousand units a month on the sacker um the rat over two thousand on a lot of the other models the bull and the lux are still going up there at 19 and 17 now again wasn't expecting to sell many but we are selling them slowly uh, Cannon's doing very well, 1.4. Uh, the newer vehicles, because they're more expensive, they're not selling as well. It's sort of this mid-range here, which is doing very well. Older vehicles and newer ones tend to be in the same sort of boat. You sell, a, you sell less of those, less of those, and then you've got this middle section, which seems to do well. Uh, let's have a look at revenues. So we got licensing revenue. We are making some money on the E11, the M12, and the MK13. Which is nice. Um, every bit of money helps. We're making contract money, which is lovely. Uh, stock holdings. What are we looking at? Who market value for Arnold? 1.2 billion pound. Is it? Oh, it's got a gain going on. We should probably check out Arnold. We haven't checked them since we uh, released them into the world. 
I like the idea that if this works, we can buy up companies and we don't have to deal with all their crap. We can just give them a load of money, send them out, and they can be independent, but under our, our name sort of thing. Sort of like a... Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, what have we got here? Any decent amounts? £113 million? Pound? What do we own of you? 2.3. Huh. Tempted? We made a £39 million pound gain on that. 74 million. I might sell that for the money we're gaining on it. Um, James Carr's doing very well. We've made a £271 million pound gain on that. We are trying to buy them out. That is our, our the ones we're looking at buying. Let's go and have a look. Wait, wait, wait. What else have we got? I think that's it. Let's go and have a look how Arnold are doing. Um, Hodins? I presume they'll be in here still. They will. Okay, so they've got... <sighs> shares outstanding six. Why is there six shares outstanding? I'm going to purchase those six. There we go. Thank you. Um, quarter, re quarter revenue, 28 million pounds. So they made some money. Earnings per share, down. That's fine. Dividends, blah, blah, blah. I want to see... Aha, here, down here. So you've got factories, five. You've got brand one branch, 66. You need to get more branches, people. You've got a marquee. Have you? Who's your marquee? Oh, you. Obviously, you count as one of them. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's have a look at our holdings. James, can we purchase any more shares in you? We can. 33 million pounds worth. We'll have that. Uh, let's go back to you. We're going to go to holdings. What else have we got? Barstool, we own 20%, is that? Huh. Let's have a look what we've got here. You, you're worth loads. So Arnold's doing okay. If this is... Is this just ten, quarterly... Wait, where's earnings per share? Quarterly revenues. Is that what the company is making? This is the total amount of revenue the selected company has made over the last month. So it is making £28 million pound a month. Do you know that? That's not bad. I don't actually know if we get any of that money. Let's go to um, earnings, revenue summary, summary, summary. Um, so assets, racing, we made a little bit of money. Um, engine revenues, military contracts, gearbox, licensing, vehicle sales. Do we not get any money off them then? Merchandise, total expenditures. I don't know. They're making money. I presume I'm getting some of it. Dividends? Huh. I'm confused. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, what have we got? Two months till those pieces are done. So let's skip forward two months. And we should be able to start designing our endurance car. I'm quite excited to actually do hopefully well in some of the races so this car is supposed to be able to keep up and sort of endure the race they go for a long period of time if i'm correct uh yes you can renew that that is not a problem we should probably look at some new contracts what have we got going on here anything interesting um no delete all oh, there we go lovely um, what did we do for sales? We lost 15 million pound. Wow, that is a big drop. Why? Is it just one of those random months, I presume? So, those should be done now, right? No, they've got one more month. Okay. Hopefully, we don't lose money again and we make money. I'm in the business to make money. I know I'm selling at the supercars at a... Uh, a reduced amount. We made £60 million. Pound. I will take that. Especially with everything we've got going on over here. Loads of stuff. Okay, so we want to make an endurance sports car. Let's do it. Let's go design vehicle. We want a sports, right? 
Um, see, if we go on to Supercarla, there is no popularity at all at the minute. But I'm hoping that changes. Although the sports car doesn't do very well for popularity, let's choose... Wait, 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 wait. We did choose a sports car then, yes? Yes, we did. We want to use the JR end. There we go. We're going to use the end there. We're going to use the end here. We're going to go OK. We're going to go pre-designed. Now, this is an endurance car. I'm guessing it doesn't need to be... Do you know, I quite like that. It goes a bit mad when we get to that one. That looks like a toy car. Hopper. See, the hopper's nice. You're a bit sort of everyday car, really, aren't you? Maria... I presume we should consider aerodynamics. So the goblins might that looks air that looks like streamlined, right? And that one does, and it's got a tail fin to keep the back down, right? Is that what that does? That keeps you stuck to the road. So we might go for the same vehicle or that one. See that's nice. There's some really nice vehicles sort of showing up now. We're so that sort of has a muscle car feel to it. We don't want a muscle car. That is like a tiny little, tiny little bullet, we could call that. A uh, liquid. Yeah, you forgot something. Um, bow. Okay, okay, we've got some cars. Oh, God, there's a lot of cars down here. Let's keep going. These are muscle cars. I'm after a nice nifty little sports car. Okay, so let's go to... Where was it? The Goblin. That doesn't have a back on it, right? No, there was a nice red one. What was the red one? Hunker. That one. I do like that car. I think we're going to go with that. Um, am I going to keep it red? Probably, yeah. I don't hate that at all. Hmm, let's have a look. Let's modify. We could, we could try a different colour. What about white? What does white look? We've never had a white... See, that looks nice. I do like the white sports car. Let's go with that. Can I colour those? I think that would look better. Definitely. Um, there we go. Lovely. Do I want to change that spoiler on the back to white? No, I think that would be too much. Um, let's get the light turned round so we can get it on the front of the car. Although the front of the car is quite ugly, so let's not do that. Uh, we're going to press F12. There we go. We've got a photo of it. We're going to go finished. Don't save. Materials, interior, design focus, and testing. Now, this is a race car. We do not need any luxuries in here, surely. Um, market demographic. This is seriously going to be for ultra-wealthy men having a middle midlife crisis i think is going to be the thing here wow look at these performance power and handling are through the roof uh, material quality i want the best uh, interior quality probably not as important coating manufacturing technique let's do it i don't mind spending some money on this car interior doesn't matter right it's a race car um, interior design, we're probably just going to leave that as it is. We could probably put safety up, but that's not important on these cars. Let's just leave that as it is. Um, car design, so, so style focus, no. Luxury focus, no. Safety focus, no. We could probably put all these down a bit, in fairness. Just like that. Cargo focus, definitely not. Dependability, I'm going to say we probably, dependability would be a good thing to have so we'll leave that where it is development pace 15 months um and then we got testing so we want to test it for performance comfortability and reliability what does that give us that gives us a great car from the looks of it this thing is going to be great we just yeah Brilliant. I'm loving it. Okay, so let's build it. We're going to call this... I'm probably going to release this under the JR Motors. 
um, flag because it is for racing and I want it to be a JR's Motors racing team. Um, so we're going to go uh, JR. So this is a long endurance car, so we want something that's that got endurance and keeps going. Um, um, the the long the I don't know the the something. Do you know what? I have absolutely no idea. My brain has absolutely gone blank. I'm going to call it the JR Slayer. How about that? That sounds good. JR Slayer. Um, we could do additional trims at some point. But not at the moment. So we're going to build that. We're going to go to the office. That is ready to go. We've got a lot on our plate at JR Motors at the moment. If you want to see how our uh, engines and cars get on, join me in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.